Hey guys, Nova Explosion, welcome back to more Fire Emblem Three Hopes. As I'm streaming this, it's my birthday, but this will go live the 20, 20, 27th. This won't go live till the 27th, because the last six videos of the first stream will go live the 26th. But the playthrough is going live on YouTube on my birthday, which is something. Parts 1 to 6 should be up on YouTube while I'm streaming this. They should be going up. Gotta wait for the game to load here, which is understandable. But dude, I had so so much fun yesterday i'm just excited to dive back in all right what are, what are we doing here go back go back i think the first thing i want to do is i want to go to the training facility because i didn't, I didn't really get to mess with it last time so i want to go to the training instructor there's Raphael. we'll talk to him after though yeah also I don't think I pressed this last time, did I? Yeah, apparently I didn't. Leveling up and resetting. At the training grounds, you could spend gold. Yo, XP allocation. I am always down for a good old XP allocation system. Kind of like Valkyrie Profile. I am down for this. It seems you use money, though. You could also reset a unit to one. Hmm, okay. So this is kind of like, um, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, Xenoblade Chronicles' um, expert. I think it's called expert mode in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Where you can like set the levels of the characters. That's what this reminds me of. Yo, this is neat for keeping people on par with everyone. Okay. Well, I'm not using it on Raphael. I might use a bit later, but for now. You know what? Get, get Raphael a few levels. How much money is it? Oh, only 100 to level up? I might as well. Might as well get Raphael to level 4. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, it's it's totally cheap to level people up. So let's, let's do this for a bit. If Ignatz. Okay, so I can only get people up to the highest level, which is whatever level Shez is, it seems. So lots of strength for Ignatz. Yeah, do your part, do your part. It's probably my highest level character, which is Hilda. Uh, let's give Marianne two level ups. I kind of don't want to touch Lysithia because I'll be playing with her a lot. And I'm not sure how it's going to work with terms of that, so I'll keep Leone like that too, since they're about to hit a level. Um, acquire class. I should probably start thinking of this. I think I wanted Hilda. I want Hilda to go down. Do I want her to go down Great Knight? It's not a bad idea, honestly. She's already heading down the brigand path. I don't really like great armor, though. There's Archer. You could become a Bow Knight. I think Wyvern Lord, but also Claude is a Wyvern Lord, so I'm not sure if I want her to be a Wyvern Lord, too. I don't know what I want Hilda to become, to be completely honest. Dark Knight. Falcon Knight. Okay, I definitely want Lawrence to be a Dark Knight. That feels very fitting for Lawrence. Claude? Ooh, yeah, Barbarossa probably. This is probably Barbarossa. Because that's his uh that's his main class, or his final class in three houses. Ivermaster, Master, we can go down this way. Sniper Bow Knight. Okay. Yeah. Stick to the unique class for Claude. Raphael, I'm actually going to use Raphael because I want to use everyone and try and get all the, um, what's it called? Probably War Master for Raphael, right? Because I don't have a War Master and Hilda can't become a War Master. Ignatz here, probably just stick to Archer. A Bow Knight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like all the final classes are, are, what's it called? Oh, you're ready to become a priest. Let's do that. I hope I can handle this. Ah, freshly squeezed lemonade, dude. It's so good. So yeah, with you, we're gonna go down the light path. Lysithia, we're going down the opposite path. Leone, what's up with you? Leone, I always make a rider, but then that begs the question, Holy Knight for Le for Leone? Interesting, interesting. 
begs the question though, I don't wanna have I want a Falcon Knight, so maybe I should make someone a flyer. I could probably make Leone a flyer. And then Lysithia can be a rider. Hmm. Okay, okay. Very, very interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, hey, Shamir, you're here. Definitely make Shamir, uh, I guess, a bow knight. I think we're gonna have repeats. I think there's nothing I can do to help that. But I wanna have at least one flyer. Like a falcon knight. Although Wyvern Lord's similar enough. Pegasus Knight. I could just make you a Pegasus Knight, or we can keep you as a Cavalier. Nah, I think we'll be okay. I think I'm just gonna keep you down the normal pad for now. You, you could change pretty easily, I'm sure, so. We don't need to worry about it too much. Hey, Mock Battle. Test out a movie set? That's cool. Let's do some training. Uh, we'll do Shamir here, and we'll also do Ignatz to get their bow experience up. Here we'll do Lysithia and Marianne for their magic up. And right over here, we will do... Yeah. Successive training? Begin training? What does this mean? Continue until a unit masters a class. Hmm, let's just do begin. I'll be making sure you maintain proper form, so go ahead and train your hardest. It makes me nervous when people stare at me. I mean, uh, thank you. Oh, hey. That was nothing for us. Yo. I've got the hang of it. Spiral shot. I am capable of so much more. I'll master. Good job, good job. So Ignatz is done. I probably want to switch him out and put Claude here. Is there any way I can, like... I guess we'll do Raphael because we haven't done them yet. And then we didn't do, uh, Hilda. This is neat. I like this. That was nothing for us. Not gonna forget this. Pomp and circumstance break shot. I have this talent hidden away. Swarm Z! That's a spell. I love that spell. Oh, physic. Nice. Just gotta let my muscles do their thing. I wonder how physic work physic works in this game. We'll do another uh, round. This is our last point though. We're done here. Oh, Shamir's probably going really slow because she's like a higher class. I'll remember this. Archer's Ploy, Dual Devastators. All right, that, that's good on that part. Acquire classes. Hilda. I wanna make you a great knight. I, the thing is like, I think I'm gonna stick you to uh, Wyvern Lord for now. I need that advanced uh, thing. Keep you, keep you in the path you're in. You, we're gonna make you a Cavalier. You should have a good amount of intermediate seals. I might run out of intermediate seals though, doing this. My true value. Yeah. You become a brawler? I wish uh, War Master wasn't specific to gender. I would love Hilda to be a War Master, but uh, it looks like the girls can't become War Masters. Which is annoying. Kind of like how boys can't become Grammaries.
Yo. I'm realizing now, I have no one with a mortal savant. I might want to reconsider this. Oh, but what about Shez? Shez can become a mortal savant. Oh, but Shez is a unique class. Mm, okay. Alright, so that's a possibility. We can always switch someone to a sword fighter. Trickster is something we don't have. We could always make you a trickster. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any more intermediate seals. Okay. I'm still wondering if the game's gonna let me recruit other characters from houses. I'm assuming no, but you never know. Okay, we, we need to go get another intermediate Can't seal. See I could probably get some at the, what's it called? Achievement guy? Strategist. Well, how'd it go? I'll, I'll take one intermediate seal. Any results, a good result. That means I can only evolve one character though. I'm gonna have to choose Leonie or Ignatz. Tough choice, tough choice. I think I choose Ignatz. We can always switch this up later, I'm assuming. There's probably easy ways to get seals, I would assume. Like there is in three houses. Later in three houses, it gets a lot easier. Oh, I, I forgot to... Can I change the class, though? How do I switch to the class? Proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Unit information. Do I... How do I change you to the class, though? Because I accidentally pressed no. Come on, dude. How do I? Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. How do I like change to the class? Because I literally pressed no and I didn't mean to. Can't wait to see how you do. Unit? Oh, there's dialogue here. Does this mean I haven't talked to them? Well, let's go do that. Yo, they tell you when they have dialogue? That's super cool. I see you're here as well, Shez. Has House Regan that hired you as a mercenary? War could erupt at any moment. Moment, you must be prepared to spring into action. Oh, I've been ready. So ready, in fact, that I'm tired of waiting. Well, that's most encouraging. I expect to see that confidence on the battlefield as well. However, as heir to a high-ranking noble family, I shall be the one making the greatest name for myself. I suggest you remember that. Maybe I have some. I think I do have something for Lauren's, actually. Oh my, this is lovely. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, give me that morale. Alright, so I think who else was it? I think Claude has new dialogue. Got a minute? You know. Hey, I got some new information. I'll fill the others in later, but for now. Know that the Empire rejected the Central Church's authority. Yeah. What does that mean? Long story short. In layman's terms, uh Edelgard's picking a fight with Rhea, the Archbishop. Oh, who could have guessed? Those who played three houses, probably. She claims the Central Church has forced its own self-serving doctrine upon the people of Foden. And that they abused their authority by meddling in other governments and prop 
profiting off their position. Long story short, Edelgard says she won't stand for it anymore. Huh, well regardless of whether that's all true, it's got nothing to do with the Alliance, right? I wouldn't say that. The Central Church is headquartered at Garrick Mock. And the fastest way to get there is straight through Alliance territory. So far, the Empire hasn't tried to negotiate with us at all, which means they plan to force their way through here. Edelgard might be hop hoping, hopping? hoping she can vanquish both the Alliance and Kingdom in one go and rebuild Fodlin from the ground up. We're not gonna just roll with it. If they want to fight, we got no choice but to give it to them. Alright, I'm not gonna give Claude anything. He has good morale. How do I switch classes? Keep pressing L for the the thing. Let's go to the item shopkeeper, see if we can buy some seals. I carry a little of everything here. Oh you can buy seals! Perfect! Get this for Leone. Hope to see you again soon. You can go visit the armory after. Training can be Let's get Leone a quick uh class change. I'm gonna make you a Pegasus Knight for now, because we already have a Brigand in Lauren's. This is great. I think as long as Leone's a rider, that's pretty ideal for her. Dude, I don't know how to change classes. Like I press no for archery with Ignots. Alright, we got no points, so we can just go straight to battle. Alright, what we what we got going on here? We did all this? Yeah, we got all this all the spoils here. Deploy a suckled area. Ooh, S rank reward is a mace? Mmm, I kinda wanna try to S rank this, to be honest. We can give this a go, why not? Energized units. Some units who didn't participate in the last battle will start to feel energized. Ooh, bonus XP. They'll receive bonus experience during battle. On the battle results screen, all units sent out will receive bonus experience based on the number of energized. Hmm. So by battles, one units will longer feel energized whether they were deployed in the battle or not. Performing certain actions in the battle will increase support points. Defeating an enemy general with an adjutant assigned, triggering a partner special with an adjutant, healing an ally with magic. All right, typical fire emblem. Each of those actions will trigger an increase in support points once per battle. Winning a battle will increase the support points between all units deployed in the battle. Perfect. Okay. I'll use Leone. Who, me? Me, Hilda. I'll do my best. I change your class. Change class. <laughs> Found it. There we go. Okay. Leone, Hilda, Lysithia. Yeah. Let's roll with this for now. Oops. Oh, I should set, uh, I should have kept another save. Oh, well, we're gonna have to hope the file doesn't mess up. I should, uh, set things. Set. This. Ooh, you got fire now. Only two combat arts and magic is gonna be a little, uh, hard to keep in track. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll work with it, I suppose. Earth Splitter Wheel Sweep. We got Night Kneeler. Get those, actually. Apocalyptic Flame Returning Axe. Curve Shot. You got something else, didn't you? Spiral Shot. Oh, you have life force available. Real increases damage dealt by combat arts and magic, but causes you to sustain damage with each use in proportion to MT. I don't know what MT is in fire, but I always forget.
Alright. That should be okay for now. Let's get him, my dudes. We have to win, no matter what. I'm gonna try to S rank this if I could. 